Welcome back viewers to another episode of the Border Crusader as the Livonian Order. Uh, we left off last time, well, with a rather interesting war against the Danes, the Swedes and the Norwegians. Where, with the help of Hungary, we won. Although, I don't think Hungary really contributed much. That was actually mostly us. Unfortunately, something I didn't notice is this. So this land I took away from Kazan previously. Uh, at the start of the previous episode, he gave it to Perm, and at some point it revolted. I don't even know when, and now we have this. And the problem is, Perm is about to be integrated. They are about to be integrated in December 1618. Perm has full course on these. I'd much rather not have Perm lose them, but I guess at the same time, even if Perm fully cause them, like even if I delay this, I think it's actually cheaper for me to just call myself because I'm never going to turn this into a state anyway. Because the thing about integrating vassals is that uh, with a vassal, uh, when you integrate them, you kind of pay something along the lines of, I think it's, okay, I've not done this calculation, but it's somewhere between the amount of cost to half core and fully core. So it's cheaper if you fully, if you are, are planning on statifying their full cause, but it's not really worth it if you only plan on, well, not statifying. Of course, there are other benefits as well, such as um, having your vassal convert the land, uh, have your vassal deal with the unrest, have your vassal, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, or I guess deal with the corruption, um, a whole bunch of stuff really. So there are benefits still, but in this case, I think I can probably just call them land myself cheaper. But a shame, really, because they are about to be integrated. Still, uh, let's clean this up and we'll march this army down south. And I'll think about what to do afterwards. Hmm, Poles are building a new army. I wonder what for. Also, can I build a bigger army? Indeed I can. Let's build a new army over here. Okay, conversion successful and the land. And can we reduce Ptolemy in more places? No, we can't. Fair enough. Probably should keep this fort on. Nothing else. It's also reducing devastation. There's damn rebels. I can't believe this even happened. So weird. Okay, relation improved. Good, I guess. I'll integrate Finland at some point. I'm an attack and rise then. Uh, yep, it seems appropriate. Turn this fort off. Wooden broke with military access. Sure. Turn this fort off. And again, I'm keeping these ones on the border turned on. Trans ox is. Oh wow. <laughs> Trans ox barely exists. Good job, Persia. I mean, even though I'm rival to Persia, I like seeing the strong Persia. It's amazing. Until I guess they declare war on me, calling in all their friends, in which case I'd be slightly annoyed. S only slightly though. Okay, turn this fort off. You guys can probably just go and drill a bit. To me, the problem my relations, I know. But soon, as in... in Five days, four, three, two, one. Integrating perm. Beautiful. Uh, you guys can go away. I'm going to keep this fort, I'm going to keep this fort. And I'm going to go and turn some of these into states, such as Bashkira, which is gold mine. And perm. 43 dev. Pretty damn good. And all of this, well, actually the perm set doesn't flow into anything that I own. But still, Bashkira is pretty good. Bashkira is pretty amazing. We have maxed out military points. Um, we're ahead of time by four years. Look, fortunate. Well, I guess it's not exactly a bad thing per se. And we have a little bit of cash. Oh, and we can reduce autonomy. Let's do that. Because we're trying to get some absolutism going. Beautiful. Of course, all this land is going to revolt on us now, probably. Thanks to... Well, mostly thanks to me reducing autonomy, really. Which is fine. 
Uh, next, let's actually go and spend some military points so we don't waste it all. Uh, what? Uh, I don't understand why I want to say I failed, but sure. Regardless, let's reduce overextension and let's go ahead and... Oh, dear. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Well... Maybe I won't declare no geyser. Maybe I should declare it earlier when they first popped. Oh well, it's irrelevant. Like I said, I don't care about this land down here anyway. It's such worthless land. What I would like to do though is um, change the culture of this land so they actually accept it. So I'll probably spread Muscovy further east and maybe even Astrakhani further east as well. It's a shame though because they, owning this land here did give me the potential of building a nice little line of forts over here in Yike. But now I can't do that. Which means my eastern flank is actually very vulnerable. Oh well. A clergy wants land. Sure clergy. You can have this land here. And this land here. And this land here. Anything else? I can give Burger some land. I believe initially Novgorod is an asset or trade. That said, I own the entirety of Kazar node anyway, so I don't need to do anything there. Hmm, I can declare war on you in a bit. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. I don't really want to go too far east. <sighs> I mean, that's a bit annoying. I don't want to fight Persia. But then again, they are allied to Transox. Same trans orcs who are probably going to die to Persia anyway, so I'll probably get my chance at some point, although I have a feeling Persia's gonna eat into them. Which be somewhat annoying. Oh well, let's reduce our maintenance and I don't know. Should I break my alliance with Poland now? Maybe yes. Maybe no. Because I feel somewhat strong right now. Somewhat strong. Why are you missing a cannon? Anything else you're missing? No, just a cannon. Very weird. And we don't have enough leaders apparently. Also unfortunate. Okay, three of you and a bunch of you. I also have very little defensive depth in that I only have one out of forts. Hmm. Well, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Poland, it was nice knowing you. But uh, I think it's about end game time. Sorry, Poland. You were a great ally and you kept me alive. Okay, Bramberg wants to break alliance. Let's see if we can stop that from happening. Minus 27, not same religion, allied to the arrival. Damn. I want to keep Bramberg on my side because Bramberg, you can see here, has 50 odd thousand. And they are no pushovers. Okay, proclaim a guarantee. Still minus 25. I, I kind of like keeping Hungary around. The fact that Ottomans, he's now like. Colonist? Or they colonialist? Colonialist. How did they take exploration? They took exploration. You gotta be kidding me. So the Ottomans are trying to what colonize They haven't colonized anything, have they? Like that's Portugal. So what are they hoping to colonize? The hell? That is just messed up. Oh, no, 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 what? I think those are the same temperatures. Who do they come from? They come from Chagatai, you bastards. You're the reason why this land here is now owned by no guy. <sighs> anyway, uh, Bramberg. I don't know what to do. I don't think there is much I can do. Let's prove Austria and Bramberg, I guess. See how that goes. Hopefully no one allies Denmark, because that will be really annoying.
Damn it. Chagatai, you suck. I mean, it's still Tributary of Ming, but I suspect the Chagatai is pretty strong, aren't they? Chagatai has what? Chagatai. 72,000. They are no joke. My decal on Timbuktu. Golden Castle military access, fair enough. It's just too much. I don't think I can keep Ramberg as an ally. And it's frustrating. Oh well, not much I can do about it. So why worry, right? Okay, lost holy war against Kazan apparently, because Kazan is disappearing rapidly. I said I don't want to expand further east. It looks like Trigatai is making a decision for me. <laughs> Funny. Uh, if you look at just how big they are as far as um, development goes, Trigatai. Because I'm curious if they'll actually have any will to break free from main. Development, 327. So they could actually break free, I guess. Uh, who are they allied with? Bengo and Malwa. Okay, Bengo and Malwa are both pretty weak. And we can see Persia is, is pretty big. I like this Persia, it looks beautiful. Just a shame that we have to be rivals. Such a shame. Let's turn maintenance back down. And yeah. Oh, it's not guaranteed by anyone at all anymore. Well, let's kill them. Kill them as well, right? Uh, let's bring you home from Bramberg. I don't think we're going to keep that alliance. Yep. Okay, well, I guess I better break away all the other relations I have with you. So cancel military access. And I'll also... Uh, stop guaranteeing you as well. A shame, really. That said, who can we be friends with? Who hates Poland? That might be a good start. England. England now is a very real option. They're also allied to Austria. Let's bring you home. I would say France, but France is kind of dying. And they also rivaled Austria. In fact, I'm honestly astonished how badly France is doing, considering how good of a start they had. Regardless, uh, you guys, stop drilling. Let's go kill no guy. Holy War? Sure. Can Transox get military access? Probably. But I must kill Transox. This is ready to claim the borders. you or to all these provinces. <sighs> I'm pretty sure we've waited a month for morale to come back. Let's turn on these forts just in case. Uh, let's send this army down just in case. Yeah, I got like no morale, but we don't need morale where we come from. They are unfortunately they actually take ahead of me hilariously. Um, I could change that. Take 18, you on take 17. Persia on take 18, you on take 18. Jeez, everyone's on take 18 these days. Scary. That said, I don't really want to take up ahead of time. Instead, how about we turn on that policy? Cheaper, uh, not this. Cultural conversion costs. And let's start converting some stuff. Start with. Whoops. Okay, start with you. I want you to become. Muscovite. You can become Ryzanian, I believe. No, you can become Astrakhani. Or Ryzanian, doesn't really matter which. Let's go Ryzanian. Spread Ryzanian a bit. There's not enough Ryzanian around. And Astrakhani, you can start taking over these Crimean lands. So, um, Astrakhani and Astrakhani. It's kind of nice. Let's double check that we do have that, right? Yeah. Just, you know, I can be forgetful at times. Okay, as for this land here, 
be relic land. I love you, but I want this to become Muscovite. Yeah, let's just, just make this Muscovite. And this one as well. Okay. This land here, this, this Kazaki or Kazani, not Kazaki. Kazani can become Muscovy as well. All three, in fact. Yep, all three can become Muscovite. Because I've already converted Kazan itself. Uh, where's Muscovite? Okay, um, I think that might be it for now. I can't convert any of these because I don't own them. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? And you can become a uh, Astrakhani. So basically, all this Noga land is gonna become Astrakhani. Want to keep this nice and cheap? This is Prussian. This is all Finnish. Uh, here, I think I want to start turning the Swedish provinces into Danish, but I don't own them. Finland owns them right now. And I'll probably end up converting all Finland over to either Prussian or something. I don't know. Out of curiosity, how much? Okay, I can't even change these anyway right now. I mean, again, this is really just to make my state a lot more resilient, because uh, the correct culture means a lot less unrest and also more money as well. More money, more manpower. Uh, if I click on one of these provinces here, we can look the tax is reduced by 33%, uh, and manpower is reduced by 33% thanks to non-accepted culture, which, as we look at Muscovite, which is accepted, um, that penalty is not there. Cool. Fries and declare on Flanders, reconquest. Um, hmm. Real shame my Brandenburg. Oh well. Let's improve Hungary. Our nation has drooped quite a bit. Let's actually get some favors going as well. I'm gonna need their favors when I attack Poland. I'm gonna need Austria's favors as well when I attack Poland. I mean, yes, I know, I sh I could totally try and 1v1 them, but that's not playing as smart. If I'm going to declare war, I want to be sure I can win it. I think that's fair enough, right? Okay, most of you go there, except the main stack, which needs to go to the lower yeek. And can I even get to Transox land? No, and no, which means they can't get to me either. Get drilling. How is Denmark doing in this war? They're losing. From 10 battles, minus 26. Jeez. Lack of officers. I lose a ton of manpower. That's not a significant amount either. Okay, we're 80% 80, 80, um, Danish separatists. 42,000. They're going to write them in Sealand. That's pretty much guaranteed. This army up here, on the other hand. Oh, I have an extra cannon. Uh, right. My bad. So when I thought there was one SK before, I guess it was still being built. I just didn't see it. I was blind or something. I started this for over in the Uralix, Um because they want to rise up as well, the Permians. Let's send you somewhere nearby, like here. It's for lack of officers. Yeah, I'm not taking that. No offense, game, but I'm not taking 30,000 manpower loss for no apparent reason. And who needs auto clicker when you can just be really good at clicking fast? Yeah. Pro strats. I've actually done this once in multiplayer as well. It works, as long as you're not too much in a hurry. Okay, everything looks to be okay. Um, yeah, everything looks to be okay. Oh, we do have cash, so we have heaps of cash. I actually spent on this cash on stuff. Where is Ustiag? It's on the wrong train node. It's unfortunate. Oh, Novgorod. Don't you have furs in Novgorod? You do. Well, workshop, marketplace, church. Church is going to have to go. Manufactories is better. 
Um, Ryazan is not a bad place. Kuma is becoming tempting. But this, this isn't a Kazan though, so it's better. Uh, okay, let's look at this one. Churden. Churden is over here. Again, it's in the wrong node, which is really unfortunate. What's over here? Is this fur? This is fur. It's just really high autonomy. But this is a state, so let's actually build one here as well. Cool. And we've got 1,000 ducats. Uh, how about we build a trade depot in some places? Danzig, Memo, um, Riga, all the usual places. Is that it? Is that really it on the Baltic? One, two, three, that's it. Wow. Both ignored it has a lot less nodes than I thought it did. Uh, nope. No, there's a point point one Astrakhan, maybe, but we don't have enough merchants to serve it. Um, is it worth trying to get more trade power in the Novgron node? Not really. But we may as well build one over here anyway. And we're not trying to redirect trade over in Crimea anyway, even though we should be trying to direct it up. Just don't think it'll make that much of an impact. Although, we could try it. 59.54. Let's say we take the, uh, the Kiev guy. Uh, 59.54. 59.54, 56.96. 6.96 yeah well I think we did make a bit more cash it was 55.954 before 56.94 uh, it's just such low difference let's convert these two away I think we still have to cause Shi land or sea land now <sighs> two more years before we can be on time for tech rather than ahead Ah, speaking of which, let's get these two armies together, they can stop drilling. We can go destroy those Danish Separatists. It'll be glorious. This force taking a while to fall. These forts can probably be turned off. I might even destroy some of these forts, to be honest. I don't need as many forts. Okay, lower Eek is down. Let's bring you back from Hungary. And let's see if no guy's willing to... Uh... Hmm. Make the nobility love me. Sure. No guy's willing to peace out yet. I don't want much. Just, you know, everything. The answer is no, apparently. Well, let's go beat up some trans-ox people. And let's keep improving Hungary. Because Hungary is valuable. They have, what is this, 60, 64, 78,000 troops. Which is not bad. Okay, excellent. Oh, speaking of which, pole point almost maxed out. Let's gain stability. There's a lot of trans ox troops. What tech are they on? 17. Can we get a better leader than you? Burkhard. Have you in charge. Over here. Um, we are numbered them anyway, so let's go ahead. Have our horrible ruler. See if we can make heads or tail of that. And you guys, stop drilling. I might need your help. Okay, by might needing your help, I mean I don't need your help at all. Keep drilling. Who are these? Permians. Fair enough. Cool. And cool. <laughs> Man, it's so terrible. What do you do? Stay on Shanae and just draw together. And I guess you guys can as well uh, march down to Transox. Conflict between city and monastic order, gain 50 admin, piss off the clergy. 
or gain 10 devotion amongst a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, 50 ammo sounds good. So for the clergy, I'll just give them a province somewhere. It'll be fine. I've got plenty of land to give them. Like out here. Give them this. Okay. Of course, Bascurian will rise up as well. It does the sweet and Ostracot land. Fair enough. Hmm. I should actually send Merchant over to Samarkand. Oh, we control his off. I wasn't going to upgrade his marketplace before. Let's upgrade his marketplace now. And. Hmm. Just thinking how I could rearrange his merchants. I don't actually fully own the YC train node. I wonder if, if I do that, if it would be to my advantage. Oh, well, I mean, conversion being done, so that's kind of nice. No guy wants peace, not happening quite yet, not until. Uh, military theory, nice. Oh, we're maxed out on military, are we? Yeah, well. Let's do something about that. Want to see when these are done. Which is this province, so I can start changing into Spashkirians and Uralic lands. 1625, still gonna be a while. Nuremberg clear on Saxony. France is a paper controller. <laughs> kind of hilarious considering what France currently looks like. Guaranteeing the independence of Burgundy. Guaranteeing the independence of, ne of Nevers. Never thought I'd see the day. Level 2 fort, level 4 fort. Hmm. Well, I'm sure you're not going for a level 4 fort on the mountains. That's just asking for pain. And a lot of it. Hey, England. They would accept peace if I didn't. Uh, if I wasn't in this war. Uh, not peace, uh, alliance. Let's be a gamble a little bit. I need to siege on this fort anyway. And then I'm going to build a fort over in. One, two, three, oh, hi. Well, I've been expecting you. Just looking at over here. I could build a fort here instead of yike. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll build a fort over here instead of up there. It's basically the same thing, really. Uh, you can come back home from Hungary. Go here and then we'll see what to do with you afterwards. Okay, over extension is gone. Excellent. Uh, accumulate money, how much? 2,000 ducats for 10 prestige. Yeah. I mean, we're gaining prestige as it is anyway. Uh, rival for rival, make Kara Kinu do like us or conquer Kabardia. Yeah, no. That's not going to happen. Oh, that's funny. We have reform into Kurland down here. Not happening. And secularization. Mm. Anyway. Hunrik, Klopman, and his family. Okay. Or we get a cheaper trade efficiency guy. Let's get a cheaper trade efficiency guy. This guy's going to die soon. And instead, grab you. And I'm going to promote you once. Beautiful. And no guy? Still no. But Trent Ox will say, well, get out this war soon enough. Persia is attacking Afghanistan. This is such a beautiful Persia. Uh, okay, sure. I, I can't help but admire this Persia. Okay, Poland has announced me as a rival. They've decided not to rival England, but England still hates them. Okay. Do you seriously still want to be in this war? Yes, you do. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. Afghanistan is just two provinces. Trade dispute against the Ottomans. Um, yeah, let's issue an embargo right back. And let's also issue an embargo on Persia as well, where we're at it. Because they are, after all, our rivals. And we may as well issue an embargo on Poland. Ah, excellent. We've reached... 
uh, 80 army professionalism. Handy. Council of military access, private contractors. Corruption it is. Do you seriously still want to be in this war? How much money do you have? Okay, I'm waiting. I want that money. It's a lot of money. It's actually to my benefit to like vassalize Transox or something, but whatever. Can't be bothered. There you go, Samarkand. Give me all your cash. Give me your war reps. And just go away. I'm not sure why Persia guaranteed and stopped guaranteeing no guy. That power was a bit strange. Don't fully really understand that. Oh, we've backed our military again. But this time, let's go ahead and take up in everything. And I guess now, pick a new idea group. I would very much like quality. I would also like to have trade ideas, but we're not exactly strong cash anyway, so whatever. Uh, the cannons and cavalry. So let's get at the cannons and let's get Gallop Cavalry. And no guy. I'm sorry, but goodbye. <laughs>